Hey everyone, welcome back to Book Outdoors. If you're new around here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and so far this winter, uh, we've had some extremely cold, and now it's warmed up, but the highways are terribly icy, so we haven't really been able to go out anywhere to do an overnight trip. So, with that being said, if I can't go anywhere to do an overnight trip, that's it, I'm gonna do one here at the house. And just like that, in a few minutes, we have our home, <laughs> away from home, all set up. So now what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna grab my uh, grab my heater, I'm gonna run my uh, propane line through the wall here, and uh, get the furnace going. And then that way, our nice little abode here will be nice and warm in no time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when uh, the weather's keeping you at home and you still want to go camping, well, you just find uh, creative ways to go camping, I guess. <laughs> you can see here, I was all set up and ready to go ice fishing, do a couple of nights uh, overnight on the ice. But because of the weather, uh, we had that really cold snap and now we have a bit of a warm spell happening and it's bringing in like a lot of kind of wet moist air in and uh the roads and stuff are just absolutely terrible so we're doing what we can and uh we're just gonna have a little camp out here at home all righty grab our heater So right here we have this nice little flap. I'm able to open this up and I can feed my propane line through there. So I got my flap open. I can feed the propane line right through there. So now that I got the heater in there, propane line here, grab my bottle. And we'll set this up just outside. That's on, open her up. Now we'll go inside and we'll light the cold on quote furnace. It's a little bit of a last minute kind of a thing, so it is getting a little dark. <laughs> there we go. Got the furnace lit in the house. 
Now uh, <laughs> I have a little light that I'm going to set up in there. And then I'm going to pack in the rest of my stuff and set up our beds. Get this place nice and warm and comfy. And uh, just enjoy the night out here. And let there be light. Perfect. <laughs> oh man. This is going to be nice. I just got to grab my cots. Bring my cots in here. And uh, maybe we'll move this light a little more so it's right in the center hub instead of off to the side. But with this light, it also has a fan. So with that fan, I can circulate the heat from the heater and get everything nice and warmed up in here. For now, I'm going to turn that fan off. There's a high and a low setting. Turn that off. So, uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna finish up here, grab our cots, get them set up. I got sleeping bags. I even got foamies. We might set up the foamies, I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, <laughs> this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a nice little camping trip. I'm actually pretty excited for this. Come on in, Daisy. Come on in, baby. Hey, girl. Why oh, them crazy boys? They coming in here? Come on in, boys. Hey. <laughs> Turn this thing up to medium or even high heck. Alrighty, so I got all my gear in here. I got my chair, sleeping bag, foamy, got for me, got for the dogs, got what I'm calling the furnace on high. <laughs> you got Texas, Rocky Boy, an old Daisy girl in here. And now we gotta get uh, the dogs caught set up. I'm probably gonna set theirs up kinda over there mine maybe right about here or so or probably side by side let's not get around here they like to cuddle so i'll probably set them up all side by side so then they have a nice little spot uh to lay with me and then uh i have two foamies so i don't want the dog sleeping on the one uh they'll just kind of rip it up and get it all wet and gross but uh yeah time to get everything set up here and uh <laughs> let's go from there all righty you guys let's get your pot set up huh you want me beside the wall or me before i put me beside the wall we'll put your guys out to the side for now Watch your organs, this thing kind of comes down. Okay? Watch your heads. Yeah, see, you told you. Watch yourself around here, buddy. We'll have to see if your mom wants to spend the night with us. We might have to share.
just wand easy. Excuse me, my girl. There we go. There. There's your caught, buddy. Want up on there? Get up on your bed. Good boy. Rocky or Texas, get back in here. Come on, you guys. Dex, come on, get in here. Get on your bed. Come on, get up here. <laughs> Dex, come here, buddy. Come on, up here. Come here, bud. Come here. You being a chicken? Come on. Get up here, buddy. Come on, get up here. Come on, Texas. Come on, Texas. Daisy, come on up here. Come on. <laughs> Huh? You wanna get up there, bud? Come here. There you go. <laughs> you chicken. You're not breathing, huh? Daisy, go on your bed. Get up there, girl. Come on, Daisy. Get up there, baby. Come on, Daisy. Get up. Good girl. Good girl. What are you worried about? You're gonna sleep in the snow? Hey. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Get the door open, buddy. We gotta shed some layers already. Okay? Pretty warm in here. You can turn the furnace down. Went from high to a medium. We might have to turn that thing down to a low. There we go. Put that up top, hey, buddy. Oh, we still got the door open. Do see, brother. Can run in and out. Alright, now we gotta set up my bed, right? Yes. I set up my bed, my friend. Hey chicken. Alrighty. Well Rocky, first time setting this thing up. I don't know how to do it. Supposedly there's some lock tabs and such. If I can't figure it out, I'm blaming you, bud. You're the adult here. Well. Not so sure about that. What does that do? instructions
right who left me in charge of doing this. nifty design but I don't really like it. Supposedly, that's set up. <laughs> Alrighty. This call was just given to me. <laughs> it was the first time I've set this thing up, so wasn't too sure exactly how to do it. Kind of got to snap two things and into place and. Uh, I don't know. It might hold. We'll see, I guess. Alrighty, I just gotta move the dogs out of the way, put one back there. There's the full of snow already. Even have like a little baddest block for your head. Hey, that works. Now let's see what it's like with this uh, new foam I bought. One person, 72 inches long. Might be long enough, it's a three inch foamy, so it should be uh, comfortable. Hate plastic. Such a waste. It's going to take some time to kind of unravel. <laughs> I tell you though, that already looks comfortable as heck. Alrighty. <sighs> Might as well use this as a workbench, I guess. Grab my sleeping bag. sleeping bag it has been <laughs> my 
having several adventures, let me tell you. Look at that. Fine as wine. Perfect. Normally I'd unzip it a little bit to uh, get some of that warm air in there, but with the dogs coming in and out and all that stuff, uh, rocky for sure. We'll end up jumping on this and just getting a bunch of snow and stuff on the inside. And then I'll be sleeping on a wet sleeping bag. So I don't really want to do that. So for now, I think what I'll do is I'll gather up my garbage there. I uh, pretty well pack it into the house because the house is right here. And then, uh, yeah, start hanging out with the dogs. I have, uh, <laughs> I'm going to cook some hot dogs over the fire. So I'm going to go, go and grab a little hot dog stick. Get that uh, sharpened up. Actually, I might have a couple of metal ones here in the shed there, too, so I can grab them. And, uh, yeah, hopefully the neighbor's dog stop barking so it's a, a little bit more of a peaceful overnight trip. I'm not used to listening to dogs bark when I'm out uh, in the tent sleeping on the cot somewhere, but it is what it is. We'll get over it, just like any other night here at home. But, uh, welcome to the camp. <laughs> In about, oh, what is that, 15, 20 minutes or so. Pretty well have everything set up. I got my chair, got the heater, got my bed set up. Ah, I got that foamy underneath. And even just sitting here, it's it's comfortable. This is, <laughs> I think this is going to be a pretty good night. But uh, it sounds like one of my dogs is wanting to come in. Is that you, Rock? Rock? Rocky, get over here, bud. Might not have been Rocky. But anyways, yeah, this is camp. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be uh, a fun little thing. It reminds me of when I was a kid, out camping uh, just in the backyard in your tent and stuff. Or out on the trampoline. Hopefully it doesn't rain on you. Shouldn't rain tonight if it does, so... At least we're in a tent and on top of a uh, trampoline. Have to run inside, but <laughs> yeah. So far, this thing is oh man, this is awesome. I got my little light going on up there. I got the heater. I can turn the fan on and circulate the heat. Uh, the door it's still about three quarters of the way open, and it's a full manway door too. So it's it's like a three foot wide door <laughs> that's open, and it's plenty warm in here it's granted it's only about minus 10 outside right now but oh yeah i'm very very comfortable <laughs> Alrighty, so shelby just got back from work here and she's gonna join us tonight on a little camping trip so she gotta rearrange her bed situation here just slightly so she <laughs> no bed put it in this corner <laughs> there something like that and then there's another foamy in the box of the truck I'll grab that and we'll roll it out for you you got real romantic you have separate beds for our anniversary you betcha. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alrighty. You're welcome. Minus 40 sleeping bag is plus, or what is it, minus 8 outside? Yeah, minus 8. And we have 18,000 BTU burner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not getting cold tonight. Yeah, right. Have you met me? I'm a woman. I'll be complaining by like midnight that my feet are cold. <laughs> oh, not with this blanket. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this bad boy get busted out before. It's pretty, pretty thick. That's the girlfriend's sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the, I don't want to hear you complain about the cold sleeping bag. <laughs> Knowing you, you'd be dying of heat in that even if it was minus 40. Uh, what side do you want your head on? I couldn't care less. Side. Side so with a zipper on. There you go. <laughs> want me to go grab pillows? Oh yeah, my pillow. Yeah, that'll be nice to have. Please. <laughs> feel like one of those kids when your parents let you camp in the tent in the yard. <laughs> That's what I was saying earlier. Burn. Bag, squish her down there. Now one thing that you want to make sure that you have when you're out camping and doing this stuff is CO2 monitor. Uh, these buddy heaters, this is the big buddy that I got, they work pretty good and if the oxygen does get low, uh, it does shut off. Uh, but with this, it, uh, it has a nice little alarm on it. I always put it in one of these little pouches that are low to the ground. Uh, CO2 is a lot heavier than oxygen, so this is up in the air. Pretty well, this whole tent has to be full of CO2 uh, before this will actually activate and go off. And uh, CO2, it's a colorless, smellless gas. And basically what will end up happening uh, when you're burning something like propane, uh, propane, it emits CO2, which is carbon monoxide. And it also burns the oxygen that's inside here too. So it's a double whammy. And... Uh, there's just a lot of stories of people going to sleep with a propane heater on and uh, basically they never wake up again. Uh, even this fall, I think there was a girl that was hunting in a box blind and her dad dropped her off, put up the heater on and when he came back to pick her up, uh, unfortunately uh, she passed away. I think that was somewhere in the States that that happened. So with these, I make sure I put new batteries in it every year last year I used this thing maybe twice I think and even with only using it twice and it being inside I replaced the batteries anyways uh, and then here you have a little test button so make sure you push that the test works and when this thing goes off it beeps like that steady so when this thing goes off in the middle of the night, if it does, wake up, open up doors, get outside, get fresh air. Uh, CO2 is not something that you want to mess with. Uh, it will, it'll 100% kill you. And uh, nobody wants to come in here and find people, you know, dead in their cots because they were uh, having a little camp out in the yard. So a CO2 monitor is a absolute must go to have. Uh, it's a must have piece of equipment when you're doing anything like this. Even if you're just fishing for the day, it is nice to have this. 
uh, especially if it's a really cold day and you have everything buttoned up. So, uh, yeah. CO2 monitor, brand new AA batteries. They get put inside this pouch. Oh, hit the fast button again. And this mesh here, air gets in there and everything like that, so it can still read and all that good stuff. But one good thing about uh, camping out right here is uh, I can grab like hot dogs and stuff like that from the house. Uh, I just gotta grab a little hot dog stick. And I'm going to roast a couple hot dogs over the buddy heater, and we're going to have something to eat. Okay. Just went outside there and grabbed myself a nice little willow stick. <laughs> That'll make me a good little hot dog roasting stick here. There we go, that'll be good enough. Sit here and roast my hot dog over the uh, uh, kind of fire. <laughs> I think I just gotta move my chair over and then that way I can crank that up to high and we'll make short work of these hot dogs. And I'm gonna throw these limbs out too. I don't want these things inside the house. Oh, it's on my goodie bag. <laughs> I got some hot dog buns that I already kind of pre-made up. Ketchup, mustard, and some cheese. Two little hot dogs. So now I'm ready to eat. Got the burner sitting there cranked up now. Put it on high. I'm gonna grab my little hot dog stick. Start roasting the hot dog. You're not having a camping trip if you're not roasting something over the over the fire. I wouldn't do marshmallows in here though. <laughs> I can see that getting bad. Have a marshmallow catch on fire inside of here probably is not that good of an idea. But pretty hard to catch a hot dog on fire. However, I'm sure it has been done. Heck, even with this, we might be able to... Ah, nope. Not enough snow in the driveway. But I could probably just lean it like that for now. There. Just let it slowly roast away. We'll be eating a nice hot, hot dog here soon. <laughs> Oh man, this thing sure is nice. I'm glad I bought this. It was expensive, but it's nice. I can see me taking this thing out even in the fall and in the spring and just kind of doing the same thing that we're doing today, but out in the bush somewhere. Either out in bear camp or just for a little winter getaway or something. 
beat sleeping on the dirt anyways. He's got back a few more things, but this is nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people, there are uh, a lot of people cook over these things now, too. I've seen some people, they have, like, the tripod, kind of same thing that I got. And they've made like stews and stuff and actually boiled water over their uh, big buddy heaters. Just throw it on high for whatever, a couple of hours. And the one guy, I think it was camping with Steve, he had a great big cast iron pot. Right full of, I think it was cabbage, cabbage stew or something like that. And yeah, they, they boiled the snot out of that. So if you can boil that, I'm sure you can cook a hot dog. Oh, well, you gotta wait, pups. The door's shut. Zippers on the bottom left. God, I love this one. <laughs> Oh, oh, that hot dog smells good. These are for ages five up. Don't let that fool you. Even those that are 30 plus sometimes have problems. <laughs> Daisy will be laying on these. Oh. Hey now. That's my wiener. Ah, <laughs> uh, we gotta push her away just a little bit. There we go. Should be alright. There. Good to call the dogs. Oh, in. yeah. Yeah, hey, boy. There you go. Good job, buddy. Lay down. Yeah, sit. Holy cow. You got a nice little mask on. <laughs> hey, buddy. Daisy! for you, my friend. I think I hear Daisy coming. Oh, yeah, there she is. Come on, baby. Come on. Hey, girl. Yeah, I'm right over here, baby. To step on your, your mats, but it just doesn't really matter. You got all the snow on you, anyways. Yeah, their feet are covered in snow as is. <laughs> well, I'm pretty well done cooking my hot dog now, and I got the dogs going nuts. It smells pretty good in here. And turn on the little fan there with that uh, attached to our light, help circulate some of the heat, and it's it's hot. I got had to take off my jacket, I'll take off my toque here real soon, but uh, I think first. Time to enjoy a nice hot dog cooked over the stove there. 
Jobu said she didn't want one, but I think after this, she might want to cook one for herself. No. There's another one there in the bag. I'm good. No, no, you guys. This is for me. <laughs> hey guys, does that smell pretty good, huh? <laughs> I think you better cook one. <laughs> I might. <laughs> <laughs> She says she might, once I turn off the camera, she'll be right here cooking one. <laughs> Man, that smells good. It tastes good. Nice and hot. Oh, it is hot in here, though. Turn on the fan. I turned it on low, but I think I'm going to turn it on high. It's sweating hot up here. Oh, yeah, even just putting your hands here, you can feel the heat blowing down. Oh, turn that to medium. Ooh. That fan makes a much bigger difference than I expected. Oh, that fan's wicked. I told you. <laughs> Pretty good $60 Christmas present. Yeah. Checks. Well, Texas knows how to get out. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to enjoy my hot dog. Let Shelby cook one up. <laughs> and if we need any more, uh, the house is right there. So we can just walk whatever 30 yards to the house and grab more. So I think we'll be all right with food. We're not going to go hungry tonight. But anyways, I'm going to keep eating. And uh, yeah, see what else happens here tonight. Alrighty guys, so we had our hot dogs. Everything went good. It tasted phenomenal getting cooked over the little heater there. But now everybody here, we're all getting ready for bed. Daisy's up on my bed. The dogs, they got their uh, big square cushions down there. I'm sure Rocky, he's going to end up being with me. Texas will be with Shelby over there. Uh, she has a great big minus 40 sleeping bag, so she'll be plenty warm tonight. My sleeping bag, I think it's a minus 18 bag. So anyways, guys, we're going to try to get some sleep here. We'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. We all made her through the night here. Dogs are still happy. Woman's still happy. <laughs> Everybody slept pretty good. And then we're right in the driveway, so I got my little coffee all made up Shelby ran into the house made me a coffee this morning but anyways we all had a good night and uh we all slept pretty good so now our little camping adventure today is kind of wrapping up and finished up so we're just gonna slowly wrap up all of our stuff put it all away and then uh i think i'm off to work but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button down in the corner subscribe to the channel we'll catch you on the next one